The graph shows the variation with time of the displacement of an electromagnetic wave at a point. This is a good thing to underline if you didn't. Displacement over arbitrary units against time. Be careful, this unit is in microseconds and I mean this unit is arbitrary so it means they don't care. Whatever unit it is, they don't care. Wave is traveling in a vacuum. What is the amplitude and what is the wavelength of the wave? Amplitude means from the equilibrium position you go up. So three arbitrary units. I don't care. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Three meters, three cm. I don't care. So three is the answer, not six. Three, yeah, from equilibrium up. You could also say it's equilibrium to down. That's our amplitude. Sure, either one works. So that leaves us with A and C. Wavelength. What is the wavelength? This is in time built. So one cycle is from here to here. That's 20 milli, sorry, microsecond period. Can we find, can we think of what, how to find wavelength from period? Oh, 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 I know, I know. We can use V equals to F lambda or V equals to lambda over T. But what is the velocity of the wave? Hold up, it's an electromagnetic wave. So it travels at the speed of light, which is three times 10 to the power of eight meters per second. That's the speed of light, by the way. You can find that value in your data formula sheet in the front of every exam paper or your calculator. So this will be three times 10 to the power of eight equals to some wavelength divided by 20 microsecond. This is in meter per second. Let's double check my SI units. Okay, everything looks good. So get a calculator, press some calculations. You should get a very long wavelength, 6,000 meters. Wow, that's quite long. Interesting. Okay, so 6,000, that's the best choice will be here. Ding. That's the end of this wave question. Nice and sweet.